Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing well. It is me, Ash Feeney, and I am here today. Oh, in case you're wondering what I'm wearing, I'm wondering what I'm wearing too. I just layered up because I went outside and shoveled snow earlier, um, and we're expecting 40 to 60 centimeters of snow where I live. Uh, so it is a crazy snow day, and what better thing to do on a crazy snow day than to either A, read, or talk about reading and talk about books. And that's what we're gonna be doing in this video um, because I'm gonna be sharing some of my most anticipated reads for the month of February in 2022. There are so many books that I've got my eyes on and I'm so excited to dish on them. All right, this first book that I wanna mention comes out on February 1st. It's a book that actually, if you're a book of the month subscriber, lucky duck if you are, you already know how I feel about this. Um, but if you're a Book of the Month subscriber, you would have had the opportunity to read this or pick this uh, for your January 2022 pick in the month of January, right? Um, and this book is Black Cake by, by Charmaine Wilkerson. And the cover is absolutely stunning. It follows two individuals who, in the aftermath of their mother's death, must set aside their differences um, and basically they find that sh their mother had left them this recipe for a traditional Caribbean black cake. Um, and following the recipe, they embark upon a journey from the Caribbean to California to London, and they're grappling with the death of their mother, coming to terms with their own identity, but also learning more about who she was. Um, and so this sounds like a really great literary fiction read. I've seen rave reviews for this book online, and so I'm super excited to delve into this one. The next book that I want to mention is one that I actually already kind of mentioned in my 2022 most anticipated reads of the year video. Um, so I'm just going to briefly touch on it here because it does sound incredible and I'm that excited for it. Um, and that book is Cherish Vera by Bethany C. Morrow, which comes out on February 8th, 2022. It is basically a book about these two teenage black girls who are the only black girls in their um, town or their community's country club. Uh, and one of the girls, her name is Cherish Whitman. She basically has been adopted by white parents and she comes from this wealthy family, right? Um, and Farah is drawn to Cherish and her family and she kind of starts to distance and separate herself from her own family and finds herself getting closer and closer to that of uh, Cherish's. Um, and Farah's own parents actually warn her and tell her, you know, something is amiss here um, and she doesn't listen, but uh, the more she begins to spend time with the Whitmans, the more she realizes that something is not okay. And so this book has been described as a social horror for fans of Get Out. And um, I don't do horror at all, but I thought that, you know, every once in a while you need to spice things up. And so, I don't know, I'm gonna give this a shot because the cover, the description, everything about it seems so riveting. Um, and I'm really interested to see, uh, hopefully this book gets a lot more attention and I hope that, I hope that it's really good. Okay, this next book, um, is a thriller and it has a hodgepodge of traits that I love or tropes that I love in books um, all sort of mixed together and so I'm so interested and excited for this one and I'm definitely going to be reading this. It is called The Night She Went Missing by Kristen Bird. Uh, this book comes out on February 8th um, of 2022 and it is basically kind of a domestic suspense thriller so you know as soon as I hear the words domestic suspense I'm listening. The antennas are up and I am paying attention. Um, but particularly this one is about uh, this girl named Emily who is this prep school senior um, and she's kind of nerdy, withdrawn, reserved. Um, and she goes missing and there's talk that maybe this football player named Alex, uh, who she was last seen leaving a party with and who has a dubious reputation is involved with her disappearance. And then three mothers, Catherine, Leslie, and Morgan, who were friends but are now frenemies, begin to investigate the situation and try to piece together what exactly happened that night and where is Emily. So Missing Girl, also another thing that I love reading about. Um, also the high school setting, like that sort of involvement prep school setting, like that sort of academia vibe I'm always here for. And the fact that there are these three mothers kind of putting together the mystery and trying to figure out what's happening 
sign me up. Sounds so good. I'm so down. So this book is one that I read about uh, for the first time in a blog post, um, which was a book of the month predictions blog post. I find that often those blog posts have such great uh, recommendations for books. And so, you know, who knows if it'll make it into the box for February 2022, but either way, it sounds so compelling. And it is a book called How to Find Your Way Home by Katie Reagan, and it comes out on February 15th, 2022. So this book is all about the relationship between two siblings. Um, it's been 10 years since Emily and her St her brother Stephen last spoke or saw each other. Uh, Emily is kind of living a comfortable, stable life right now. She has a great boyfriend, a beautiful apartment or flat as it's described here in the synopsis and a great job that um, is supposed to let her make a difference. But more than anything, over the course of the past 10 years, she's been looking for her brother and just hoping to find him um, because he's actually been homeless. And so one day though, Stephen just walks in the door of Emily's office and he's back into her life. And there's still a chasm of distance between them. Um, obviously, they haven't spoken in 10 years. And so it's all about them finding their way back to each other, slowly restoring their once really close relationship um, and learning to grow together. And so I love reading books about families and siblings. Um, I don't know why I just connect to them so deeply. And so this sounds like a really beautiful fictional read. All right, this next book also comes out on February 15th, and it is The Swimmers by Julie Otsuka. It's actually a book I talked about um, once again in my 2022 Most Anticipated Reads of the Year video, so I'm going to try to mention it pretty briefly here. Um, and it's basically about the users of a public pool. Um, they don't speak to one another, but they know each other's like swimming preferences, you know, one's in the fast lane, one's in the slow lane, um, you know, one keeps to the right and the left and whatever, um, until one day the public pool closes down and they're all kind of, all of their lives and their routines are disrupted and they're all kind of reeling um, from the consequences of that in their own ways. Um, and it launches into a story, I believe, about each person's uh, struggles and life journey and all of that. Um, and so, this seems like a really interesting literary fiction read. It comes out on February 15th, so yeah. Okay, the next book that I want to mention is also another book that I did mention actually in my most anticipated reads of 2022 uh, video. So again, I'm going to try to keep it brief, um, and it is The Paris Apartment. It comes out on February 22nd, um, and it's by Lucy Foley. Uh, this book is a thriller and it follows a woman named Jess who basically in need of a fresh start asks her brother to move in to his Paris apartment um, and she shows up at the apartment only to find that his neighbors are an eclectic and suspicious bunch um, all while her brother is nowhere to be found. Um, and so it's a thriller set in Paris and I think the combination of the genre and the setting makes it sound like a total chef's kiss to me. Um, and plus it's written by Lucy Foley, who is the author of The Guest List, which was, I believe, either a book of the month pick or a Reese's Book Club um, pick, potentially. One of the two, for sure. Um, and so I've only heard great things about her work. And yeah, I, I think this sounds like a total wild adventure and a ride that I am here for. All right, and this last book that I want to talk about is one that I actually received an uh, ARC or advanced reader copy for through NetGalley. So thank you so much to the publisher, Wednesday Books, and to NetGalley as well for making that happen. I remember being super intrigued and interested and like crossing my fingers when I requested it um, because it sounds incredible. And it's basically a book called Full Flight by the author Ashley Schumacher, and it comes out on February 22nd, 2022. Um, this book follows uh, this girl named Anna James in the town of Enfield, Texas, a small town where fall is football season. Uh, but for Anna, this is contest season and a chance for her to prove herself as a budding young saxophonist um, or musician. And basically when she's assigned with a duet with um, malaphone player Weston Ryan, she's equally thrilled and intimidated. Weston is known for, um, is known for 
not really known for anything, but I think it says here that Weston is um, someone that the town, the small-minded town disapproves of. And so um, her, strict find, her strict parents find out that she's secretly been seeing him and they try to keep them apart um, because it turns out that they develop a relationship. Um, but then suddenly the unthinkable happens and Anna is left to find her way forward without Weston. Um, so it seems like this is an emotional, hard-hitting YA novel about uh, growing, up, growing up, about love, and about finding yourself. And so those are all things that, um, you know what, I feel like I haven't read in a while. Like I haven't read an emotional YA novel like this in a while. And so I'm really excited to dive into this. Um, and I'm, I'm ready for the journey. So yeah, ultimately, even if I don't end up reading all of these books, which I don't think I'm going to get to all of them because I think each month I typically do a healthy dose of new releases and, um, just backlist books as well that I've been wanting to read from, you know, last year and, you know, whatever year, like things that I come across at the library that came out in 2006. So <laughs> again, I don't think I'm going to get to all of these books, but those are all books that I've got my eye on and I'm very much an impulse reader. So who knows what um, I'm going to end up picking up out of picking up um, on the list, though there are a few that I am for sure anticipating harder than others, just like my most anticipated reads of the year 2022 video. So yeah, I hope you found some reading inspiration from that and I'm so excited to see you in my next video. Bye.